Welcome, humans, to Jade of All Jades Cocktails in La Casa. I just made that up right now. So, uh, this week on Instagram Live, along with everybody else, I did a cocktail where I showed you all how to make a fuzzy, uh, fizzy, tequila, muddled blueberry situation. I have no name for it and I'm not going to create one. I want you all to follow along. And the fun thing about these recipes, I want you to keep in mind, is that I want you to take ingredients that you like. That's the thing about these, it is not hard and fast. I'm giving you some rules and how I do things so that you can incorporate things that you like into your own recipes, okay? So well, let's get into our tequila fuzzy fizzy situation. That's what we're gonna call it, the tequila fuzzy fizzy situation. So this is my favorite tequila, Casamigos. Ooh, she is sexy. I love her in a reposado. Today I brought a Blanco because I thought it would be nice. Because that's my business. Shout out to Tabitha. <laughs> A little lime juice. I use organic lime juice. You are also welcome to use a, a fresh lime. I know if you're doing it at home for one person or two persons, that might be right. Your girl drinks a lot of margaritas, so your girl keeps a whole bottle of lime juice in the fridge. It just is what it is. Angostura bitters. This is the orange flavor, and it is one of my favorites. So bitters is actually a blend of spices and herbs that you use uh, to help enhance your drinks. You can also use it as a fun fact with seltzer water or ginger water in order to help calm your stomach down. This is from, this hails from the great island of Trinidad and Tobago. So get you some Angostura bitters. And then I'm using a Clementine Pellegrino. You can use a seltzer water, just something fuzzy or fizzy. Why do I keep mixing them words up? It don't matter, y'all know exactly what I mean. Something fizzy to top your drink off with because this is, this is essentially making yourself a boozy soda, right? Like, boozy soda, who don't want that? And then, just a little bit of simple syrup. So, let's get started. Oh, ha ha, I forgot. Our fresh blueberries. So we're gonna muddle our blueberries, we're gonna go through all the steps, and you all are gonna be able to get good and wasted in your house, I cannot wait. So, let's take our pilon and we're gonna put our blueberries in it. Now, you, take, you can take your berry of your choice, any fruit of your choice. Sometimes at home, actually, I like to put a couple frozen mango chunks in. I put the frozen mango chunks in as ice, okay? And then they end up soaking up all that liquor. By the time I'm done with the drink, I have boozy fruit. Like, come on, y'all got to, we got to repurpose our ingredients. We living in a quarantine. So, I'm gonna take a handful of blueberries. I washed my hands. Wash yours too. I'm gonna take another little handful of blueberries because I like blueberries and that's my business. <laughs> and I'm gonna muddle them in the pilon. You can muddle them in your glass, you can muddle them in your shaker, you can muddle them on a train, you can muddle them on a plane, you can muddle them anywhere you want. They're gonna go in your drink. I'm just making a video for you all so I gotta get pretty with it. So I'm gonna muddle my blueberries in the pilon. Okay, they don't look too sexy when you do it but they taste sexy, okay? If you do not have a muddler, you can use a wooden spoon to muddle your things. So I'm gonna add my muddled blueberries to my shaker. Mm. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, now my Casamigos, woo! Yes, shout out to the Migos. That means two things. So I'm gonna do a four count. When I used to bartend, I bartended for years. When I used to bartend, I would do, you're supposed to do about a four count in a drink. Sometimes I do a four and a half, a five, maybe a six, but we'll do a four count. Yeah, that's more than four, you'll be all right. Okay, now we're gonna add the juice of one lime. I'm going to add my lime juice. If you wanna do straight up lime juice, it depends on how acidic you want it. I personally like a very acidic drink, so I add a little bit more. If you like a little less and you just want the lime to add that essence, again, remember, I'm telling you all, I want you to do this your way where you taste it. I'm just giving you the tools. So I'm gonna do maybe a two count of lime juice, maybe a little more. 
because I like the lime. And then my bitters, just a couple dashes of my orange bitters and a splash of simple syrup. This is also contingent upon how sweet you want your cocktail. I'm only gonna add a splash since I'm topping it off with this Clementine Pellegrino. So a splash of simple. Welcome to Brooklyn. <laughs> Y'all know we filming at home, don't act brand new. I should have shook over the ambulance. All right. So now we're gonna remove. Oh, that's a lot of ice, girl. I'm gonna top it off with my fizz, not fuzz. And some blueberries. We want blueberries because they're so delicious, high in antioxidant. Mmm. Ooh. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. 